Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to our art fair interviews for um, the art pieces um, we did at Leave Them Open. I'm here with Nick and Annika from St. Norbert College um, talking about their, um, and Taylor as well, Reclaim Hosting Taylor, um, to talk through our um, art pieces that we did on the morning of day two at Reclaim Open. We had a big um, space with folks um, submitting their own art pieces to talk through different projects they're working on. And um, Annika and Nick were talking about Domains Camp at St. Norbert. So if you all just want to take a minute and explain um, what uh, you all did for Reclaim Open for the Domains Camp, and then we can kind of get into some more from there. Yeah, I don't know if, Nick, if you want to go first, sort of um, how you presented it there, and then I can go into a little bit more detail. Sure. So um, Annika's really the brains behind the operation and the art, the artist behind the operation, and I was just the person who presented it. But um, we had an easel with a, a nice poster that Annika created and some postcards and some stickers and a trail guide that is the only thing that I actually created. Um, but the the art was all created by Annika and uh, amazing and um, the intention of our our, sh our art piece was to get people to sign up to, uh, to be camp counselors for their own domains camps so we can maybe run con concurrent domains camps um, with other schools so I'll let you take it from there Annika how you decided that you wanted to build out that artwork yeah I don't know it was I think it started. I don't know who first suggested it, um, but when we were talking, me, Chrissy, Taylor, and Pilot, I think we thought of it more of like a hike and like that journey of learning, you know, the webs, like uh, your online presence going all the way to building a website yourself and sort of making it more fun. And, um, and then Molly and I, once we had the, different modules of the curriculum we just went and made puns and different titles for each stop and so that sort of inspired then what's actually on the map of going from like the trailhead to you know a bridge or a waterfall um, just to sort of make people more engaged because there's a lot of stuff out there as far as conferences and we didn't want it to be boring so we wanted to to be very visual um and then we'd be able to share these assets with others that also want to do this themselves i do have a digital copy of the poster should i share my screen yeah yeah absolutely okay and and you know maybe even before well well while you're doing that maybe um well, what is Domains Camp? What are we even talking about? <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. So Domains Camp is sort of a curriculum that we partnered with Reclaim um, to help anybody, you know, get into the world of website building. Um, and it's also beneficial for those that have built it in the past. It starts sort of with, you know, what is the web? What is my digital presence? Um, which is honestly great to review at any point in your digital lifetime, I guess. Um, and then going from there to planning a website and sort of more the hands-on sketching and all that kind of stuff before we actually dive into the technology of installing WordPress, going through WordPress, and then actually being able to build a site. So then by the end of the camp, you're taking a site with you and you have something. Um, that you can that you can bring with you with wherever you want. Awesome. All right. So should I just present my screen? I got you, Annika. Oh, oh, you got me. Yeah. I do have the full poster up too, though. Oh, okay. Cool. If you share your screen, we can pull that in uh, later as well, Annika. Okay. Uh, so, but yes, this is the this is the postcard. Um, sort of template that we used. Um, we first used the postcard and we put it in all of our faculty mailboxes as sort of like a, oh, come to Domains Camp. And then like a little postage was the QR code that had the information on it. And then we brought it to Reclaim as far as like, oh, 
join our camp counselor session. And we put little chocolates on so that they can make s'mores with us. Mm -hmm. But we didn't bring any chocolate to Domains Camp. Um, and then, so we have all of our resources available at uh, Domains Camp that night that domains slash resources. So these are great ways that pe uh, that other camp counselors could, you know, make their own uh, camp uh, domains camp at their own institutions, and ideally, we'll be able to do something concurrently with other institutions at some point. Um, that's that's what our objective is. I think for this upcoming January is to have mul a multiple institution domains camp. Um, but yeah, all this is available right here. Um, I think we mentioned earlier, Taylor uh, designed the curriculum. So, um, and I think there was some consultation with his team and with us, but. Uh, yeah, the, the ed tech team. So, so um, a, a lot of us at Reclaim were involved with that. Yep. But yeah, uh, I, I would recommend taking a look at this website. There's a lot of really awesome resources there and um, trying to think where the actual curriculum is. I think it's content. It's the content. Yeah, it's yeah. content. So this is all, uh, this is what the Reclaim team designed for us. Um, there's an awesome uh, fire favicon up there. So, or whatever the, the standard term is now, I don't actually know. Is it still favicon? I call it a favicon. Sweet. Favicon? I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah. Well, yeah um, that, that's really cool. So what the like is the website based in wordpress and like how did you build out this page too that's it's really cool to look at so yeah the website itself is wordpress and then this is actually a subdirectory in doxify um that taylor set up on the main site and then i moved to the subdirectory so they are technically two different sites um the cool thing with this there, site yeah. is you can get it from github and download it so the idea being it would be really easy for folks to set up their own, do what Annika did here, right? So you could have a WordPress site for your own domains camp or whatever, and then you can just drop this content in wherever you want, basically. You don't have to completely reauthor it. So. Or you can edit it to your liking, too. Yeah, that's super cool. And I like how the main domains camp is like the wrapper of WordPress, but you can switch around between between the different applications. That's super cool. We're a big fan of domain of WordPress as a wrapper <laughs> around here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> cool. Uh, so I, well, I kind of am curious, um, I, you know, if, if you have any other uh, things to say about the, the art fair, that that's cool. Um, I won't get in your way, but I, I also have some other follow-up questions about Domains Camp. So I don't know if you wanted to, if there's anything else you wanted to mention there, because um, this, this is the, the, the art you guys all designed and put together is I awesome. just want to note that the other art installations were really, really awesome as well, especially the one that had the, uh, the old uh, living room set up in it. I thought that one was pretty awesome. Um, I may know the people who put that one together, but um, and the, I, the they're all really really cool, and the the one that led up into the digital uh, literacy or the, the digital storytelling was pretty hilarious with Jim Groom, so people should definitely watch that that presentation, the digital storytelling presentation, because it was it was hilarious. So that's really all I wanted to say about that. We we will have a session on the '90s living room, so that or a recording like just like this one. So um, I don't cool. actually know what order they're all airing in, but yeah, um, that may have already happened or will happen. <laughs> um, but, check it out. Um, check it out if it has or hasn't happened yet. <laughs> um, and uh, so, so as far as Domains Camp itself goes, you you all ran a version of this already one time, right? Um, uh, on campus. yes. We ran it this past January with about eight or nine participants, um, some faculty, some staff, and then one student. So that went pretty well, and we got some good feedback. We ended up, the, the thought is to have this as like a two-day camp, but because we had a smaller group, um, we did fit it all into one. Um, probably wouldn't do that again, but... Yeah, it was it was pretty good. We got some good feedback from that. Um, so 
take it moving forward. So we plan on having a camp counselor session to whoever's interested in running this. And the interest form is on our website, um, on that Domains Camp website. It's one of the items at the top. Um, so we can sort of talk more about this, sort of what you'll need, the preparation going into it. And then this coming January, we're tentatively looking as for when we would want to do it again. So then other schools, if they would want to do it during that same time frame, that would be the thought. So what would, um, and it's maybe a little early, so I, I get it, but um, what, what would you all think running it alongside other schools looks like? I mean, is it just truly running at the same time? Is there cross-institutional collaboration? What, what are you all hoping to see there? I think that there's a lot to be gained from a lot of like asynchronous schools running these things by themselves, the, like the meat and potatoes of the curriculum by themselves with some show off, like some show offs at the end, you know, we, people can show off what they created during the, the, the two or one day domains camp, but then also to have something uh, like a keynote or a, a, a few keynotes where we would all come together synchronously watch those together and then uh, maybe talk about that and how what we thought about the keynote uh, as a as a larger group um, but the, the the beautiful thing about this camp counselor session that we want to that we're going to have in August is uh, that we can determine what we want the domains camp to look like across in, in institutions and um, all these really crazy smart people at these other colleges can can influence what we do. Awesome. Cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's really exciting. Um, I, um, I'm really, uh, curious to kind of see how this goes. And, you know, um, I, I would say to, um, you know, uh, feel free, uh, to, well, I'm going to, pose this in both directions, I guess. I know Annika and Nick are in our Discord, our Reclaim Hosting Discord community too. So, um, you know, if you all want to promote things in there as far as, hey, this is happening, um, feel free to use that space. It's what it's for. But also I'm going to just throw throw out to um, if folks watching this or, or uh, have questions, you know, uh, put them in the discord so we can kind of collab use that space collaboratively. I think that it makes sense. And then of course, once the August um, meetup happens, you, you all may have different places where you're coordinating or whatever, and that's cool, but, um, or you can use that space too. But um, I'm, I'm very excited. Um, you know, I, I have having come from St. Norbert before I've worked at reclaim um, I've seen St. Norbert do this kind of cross institutional uh, you can call it faculty development, but usually it's not just faculty, um, these kind of things before. And it is always really enriching to the experience and rewarding, I think, as um, both a participant and the person, pe people running it, right? You can learn from other people running it, which is great. But I I've heard from faculty and staff and students who participated, like, hey, it was really awesome to see folks from these other schools you know, uh, participating and that's taken multiple forms, right? I, um, with, uh, in the past over Twitter, I don't, I don't know whether maybe it's not Twitter anymore. I don't know. <laughs> it could be Twitter. It could be a forum. It could be email, right? Like, um, but I, I do think that is, I think this is a great idea to try to get, um, multiple schools on board here. So I, I really applaud the, the work you all are putting in here. Yeah, and I love the camping um, theme to it because it's, I lost my train of thought, oh my goodness. Um, I love the, the that, that theme because it's kind of like you can, like, with, with like camping or anything like that, you just have so many other tools, like in your arsenal, in your backpack. So learning the different options you could have, like even through the domain is like super cool, kind of like. Um, building out your your hiking toolkit and stuff like that so um, that's super cool so um, and it's also really cool that you're looking forward to what it will be because that's reclaim open theme well where we are where we're going where 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 we were sort of thing so um, I like to see that it's um, continuing and still being built out 
um, as, and we can see like how what the progress looks like um, in the future, which is super cool. Um, one of the, another kind of qu question I'm curious about too, with the, the actual, you know, the content of it sort of, or how, how you all, uh, how that first one went, you know, obviously we at Reclaim were, were involved in writing some of that. Um, so I, I'm familiar with what some of that is, but I am kind of curious about like, you know, what, how, how did, how did that, how did teaching that go? I'm sure there are parts that were, um, people had, um, were maybe more interested in than others potentially, or, or maybe had harder time with it. Just kind of how this goes, right? Because a lot of it is, um, a lot of the modules are sort of front loading some concepts and then some of the modules are okay now go do a wordpress like <laughs> which is obviously very different than talking about digital identity right as a concept so i'm kind of curious if you have any other thoughts to share about like what it was like actually doing that over that day yeah i, I can... saw you were on okay yeah, yeah i saw yeah. you muting so i'll let <laughs> I, <laughs> I think the one of the most helpful things, uh, the, the, the curriculum was super helpful, um, but the accommodating uh, trail guide was was pretty, I think, probably the most helpful thing for our the people who attended so they could have that, you know, kind of a checklist, but more of an interactive checklist to go off of. We we printed off merit badge stickers, um, which I, I think were pretty Did you fun. make sashes? <laughs> so not we're, we're not that cool unfortunately but we did have a place for them to put their their merit badges um right next to all the 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 wood i guess uh, is that circle where they can place their merit badges so as they as the people did the tasks we walked around with merit badges and and i don't know if, how many of them stuck them on their trail guides but having this was i think really helpful and we went through basically top down the the curriculum um in this in this trail guide so um it wasn't too much of a leap i don't think for people to be like oh cool now i'm gonna like make a website awesome we also uh, prompted people with we, we told people to come with ideas and with a task that they wanted to have before they before they got to the domains camp so it wasn't like a what could i do they had they had a, a enough time i think beforehand to think about what they wanted to do Cool. Yeah, the guide was a huge um, help. We attended a training uh, towards the end of December that had something similar to this. And I think we all, everyone on our team, like really liked that idea of like going back to paper and pencil and having a specific spot to, you know, write notes because I don't always think of bringing paper and pencil to a conference because I don't know I just it, it that that's not the first thing that comes to my mind and then having being able to have somewhere where you can write down and then of course they get tech bar pens so <laughs> it all works out well and, and I think there's something to um something like this trail guide that clearly like you're taking the content and making it very specifically designed for how it was going to be delivered um, I and then having all these niceties, right? Like the merit badges, the spot to write notes, that uh, makes a lot of difference in the delivery, I think, in terms of what it feels like for your participants, right? It's like someone really thought this through and this is like not just I showed up and I'm going to be talked at for eight hours, right? Like this is a intentionally designed experience that that front to back, right? So I think that can even do a lot to set the mood maybe for the day um, and then maintain that throughout the day. It's, it's really well done. And I, you know, it'd be cool to see kind of how this evolves too. Like, I, I, I don't know, I love the camping metaphor. Um, or, and uh, you know, I can even see like, like the, uh, if you're all familiar with the idea of like leave no trace camping, like maybe, the, maybe we could tie that in with digital identity. And that's sort of like someone who's not out there at all. And what does that mean? And maybe, maybe you, I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that has a positive negative connotation. Leave no trace camping is is a good thing, and leave no trace on the internet is maybe not what you want. So um, I don't know. There's I I think I think the the theme is compelling, and I love how you all turned it into this tangible resource. So yeah, I think the cool thing about um, a camping theme 
is a camp was always an escape for for me growing up you know i was a, a boy scout i think taylor you were a boy scout too and people i'm sure everyone else has been to a summer camp but that was always an, an escape from reality essentially and this is an, an escape so you can figure out how to do something that you have always wanted to do but i've never like get like a lot of the time for and it's just a time away to do it it's kind of like going to college you know you are away from I, probably away if you were going to residential college you're away from your your previous reality and now you're just there to focus on academics and other like extracurricular things and i think that that is that escape allowing yourself to to escape from your previous reality is something that can be really helpful so yeah get time fun. to it yeah it's cool Awesome. I was just looking through the stickers um, for the merit badges. I have to share those too. That was really cool um, to see what they they all look like. You can see they're like the um, get that added to the stream, um, but the these are all super cool. Yeah, a big shout out to our instructional designer Molly Lucarelli too. She was instrumental in creating the theme or in creating the puns. So awesome. That's so cool. Awesome. Chief pun officer. Yeah. Chief pun Chief. officer, Molly yeah. Lucarelli. <laughs> she's sitting right next to me, and she's really happy that she's the chief pun, pun officer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, cool. Well, thank you guys for jumping in and explaining a bit more about um, Domains Camp. And um, we'll make sure to post the resources in the Discord chat throughout this, too. So. Um, if anybody's interested, definitely fill out that interest form on the website um, and we'll keep it going with some more um, awesome stuff. Any final thoughts from, from either of you or anybody? I I will put, I'll put the like poster that we had at Reclaim. I'll, I'll link that on the website too. So people can okay. look at that. And that website again was what? Domainscamp.night.domains. Cool. And... Anyone who didn't physically go to Domains Camp this last year should absolutely go to Domains Camp next year or whenever it happens again. I don't know when the next time it'll happen, but next time it happens, go, because it was awesome. Awesome. Well, cool. Well, thank you both. And let's keep the conversation going for Reclaim Sorry. Open Online. Reclaim Open. <laughs> cut it out. No. Cut, 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 cut that part. Okay. <laughs> anyone, who didn't go to, anyone who didn't go to Reclaim Open... My mind, my mind was on Domains Camp. To anyone who didn't go to, to Reclaim Open this last year, it should go the next time it's happening. Apologize. Absolutely. No, okay. <laughs> cool.